Welcome to part two of how to program a diver. In this video, we'll be covering the uh, software portion and managing the divers uh, with the software. Uh, whereas in the first video, we covered the hardware and how those uh, pieces go together. So you've gone to our website, you've um, ultimately received your divers, and uh, now it's time to look for the software to manage the divers. It's on our website at venessen.com. Uh, under products, go to software, navigate to diver office, scroll down to the bottom where you see downloads. You'll be prompted to fill in a form. Uh, from there, uh, you'll receive an email with a link to the executable. Once that's downloaded, uh, you can um, uh, start the program, uh, diver office. We'll work with diver office first. Um, and then once it's uh, started, you'll see, you'll be prompted as you see here, uh, for a project name. So you input a project name as it pertains to your uh, your project, of course. In this case, we're just making up an ABC uh, project. And then we'll hit the Create button. And this will start the uh, top of our project tree, as you see here on the left-hand side. Now, as we navigate off to the right in this gray portion, you'll see there's various uh, settings where the uh, divers uh, files are stored, default export settings, uh, project time settings, things like that. You can also uh, make changes here. As you see, I clicked on the edit button and I added CSV to this. Now we go to the top. The only other thing we want to focus on at this point is that the units match what you're looking for. You can uh, switch between Imperial and uh, of course metric anytime. It's now time to uh, work with the diver. So we're going to go to the top and look for the icon marked diver. From here we click on that icon. It opens up this window that allows us to view the settings of the or the properties of the diver, uh, its current status, battery level, things like this. Uh, currently this unit is stopped, prompting us to start it. In this blue section, this is the uh, monitoring point right now it's marked with our company name Van Essen Instruments and the serial number of this particular TD Diver. We're going to make a change to that now. Something maybe uh, a well name. Uh, in this case, we're going to use monitoring uh, well. Actually, we'll use the short form monitoring well or MW1. You see the sample method uh, below this for this unit is set to fixed. And our record interval is uh, set for every taking a measurement every hour. And you can, of course, make changes to this, um, meaning you can make it one minute, you can make it uh, whatever you wish, but that's the other area you'd make a change to it. And once you're done, hit program. This, of course, applies to all of our diver data loggers. And, um, if you're working or you're, you're wanting to use a, a barrow diver, which I highly encourage, uh, it's best to start working with that diver first. That should be the first unit you're starting and the last unit you're collecting from. The barrow diver's files should be larger uh, than all the other divers in this uh, monitoring network. Again, that's work with the diver, uh, the, the sorry, the uh, barrow diver first and then move on. All right, so we're just going to get into the option to start, and there are three options for this. You'll see an immediate start. Typically, this is used on our direct read options, uh, the units down inside the well, and you're working with it topside, uh, connected to a PC, or rather a laptop, and you're giving it an immediate start. Future start means that you want it to obviously start uh, later on, and you can do that with the date and time option. Uh, smart future start is also an option that you can use. Syncing the diver. Uh, Time is probably best. It keeps the clock in line and uh, from drifting too much. I hope this uh, video was um, helpful to you. Uh, if not, you can certainly reach out to any uh, of the tech support contacts you have, and that's typically your salesperson. If you need help looking for those, uh, please visit our website uh, under the distributor side uh, and look up the uh, region you're looking after, looking at, or uh, use any of the numbers that uh, are on our, our homepage. We'll be happy to help you through uh, programming your diver and working with your diver. And um, we look forward to talking to you. We'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.
In the meantime, if you need further assistance, we can be reached by email at diver at vanessen.com or you can visit our website at www.vanessen.com, select support, then tech support, and choose your area representative.